As much as people might be tired of talking about the coronavirus, people seem even more tired of the restrictions that the virus places on their lives. Sure, we might be able to go outside a little bit more, but this new normal is still making people a little bit mad. In fact, even the phrase new normal seems to set some people off. And don't even get them started on face masks. I want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. Every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. The ultimate solution to this is to develop a cure to the virus, which then allows immunity to develop within the community and allows us to return to actual normal. A cure which could come in liquid form, could be put into tubes and jabbed into humans. It's a vaccine. I'm describing a vaccine. And you'll be pleased to hear that since the last time we made a video about the progress of vaccine production, a lot has changed and there's been some serious progress made. In fact, the man at the centre of far too many internet conspiracies, Bill Gates, has shared more of his views on the matter. So let's discuss Gates' thoughts on the vaccine production process, how development is going, and what all of this means for our ability to return to cinemas to watch Marvel's next 6,000 superhero movies. Before we do though, please consider subscribing to the channel. We regularly make videos on a variety of topics that you might be interested in, so subscribing and hitting the bell icon would really help us out. Oh, and we've also got dedicated US and EU channels, if that's more your speed. Links to both of those can be found down below. Thanks for your support. So let's start by talking about the man of the hour. The man who spends billions of his own money on global health issues and remains the internet's favourite boogeyman, Bill Gates. Now, we're not just bringing up Gates here because the last time we did, the video got good views. Well, no, the real reason is that despite what many people are saying online, Gates is an authority on this topic. His foundation have contributed vast amounts of money and knowledge towards global health initiatives. I mean, they've almost eradicated polio, a disease which used to kill millions of people a year. So it's safe to say that when it comes to vaccines and eradicating epidemics, Gates and his foundation know what they're talking about. So what exactly has he got to say? In April, he wrote in The Economist saying, I believe that humanity will beat this pandemic, but only when the population is vaccinated. Until then, life will not return to normal. Even if governments lift shelter-in-place orders and businesses reopen their doors, humans have a natural aversion to exposing themselves to disease. The world economy will be depressed because demand will stay low and people will spend more conservatively. Gates then went on to discuss how the virus is likely to spread. As the pandemic slows in developed nations, it will accelerate in developing ones. Their experience, however, will be worse. The virus will spread quickly and health systems won't be able to care for the infected. COVID-19 overwhelms cities like New York, but the data suggests that even a single Manhattan hospital has more intensive care beds than most African countries. Millions could die. Unfortunately, we're already beginning to see this play out, with poorer countries beginning to race to the top of the infection and death lists, as richer countries have been able to more successfully limit the virus's spread largely due to economic power, healthcare infrastructure, and the ability of citizens to work from home, something which is more possible in richer countries. So it's clear that Gates thinks that we need a vaccine before we can return to normal, and he's concerned about how the virus will affect poorer nations. This came to a head in a recent interview, where he focused on one of his primary concerns at the moment, how the vaccine should be distributed once they've been created. Specifically, he said, if we just let drugs and vaccines go to the highest bidders instead of to the people and the places where they're most needed, we'll have a longer, more unjust, deadlier pandemic. We need leaders to make these hard decisions about distributing based on equity, not just on market-driven factors. So where even are we when we come to vaccine production? Is Bill Gates speaking too soon? And why is he discussing distribution of a vaccine, which has yet to even be produced? Well, currently there are around 140 different vaccines in production, and before they can be circulated in the general population, they need to pass a number of tests. The first of these is the preclinical phase. This is where a proposed vaccine is given to animals to see whether an immune response can be produced. If so, production moves into phase one of the clinical trials. 
This phase is about whether the vaccine is safe in humans, and as such, it's only given to a small number of people. If the proposed vaccine is shown to be safe, then the production moves into phase two. This enlists more people and helps scientists discover the right dosage for the vaccine. And then, if successful, the process moves into phase three. This is when the vaccine is given to a large number of people, and during this time, scientists can discover any further side effects and find out if the vaccine is effective among a much larger group. Of the 140 vaccines currently in the works, one has been approved, although only on a technicality, and three are currently in the final stage, stage three. So let's go through those one by one. The vaccine that has technically been approved is produced by CanSino Biologistics. While it had been approved for clinical trials in Canada, this vaccine was also approved for use in China. The catch is that it's only been approved for military personnel. We wish we could say more about this, but neither the company nor the Chinese government, which they've partnered with, have given any more information. Whether it will be mandatory for the Chinese military to take the vaccine and how many in the military will be given the vaccine are questions that are simply unanswered. The only thing we do know is the Chinese government have approved its use by the military for one year. It is therefore clear that the Chinese government is not following Bill Gates' advice. According to the Chinese government, their military, which is one of the largest in the world, has yet to record a single coronavirus case. If this were true, which is statistically improbable at best, then the government isn't giving the vaccine to people who need it most. Bill would not be impressed. So moving on to the three vaccines that are currently in stage three. The first is a vaccine being produced by the University of Oxford in England. But interestingly, it's currently in phase three in Brazil. This means that 5,000 volunteers are currently receiving vaccinations in Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and a site in northeast Brazil. While here in the UK, 4,000 volunteers are currently in the process of testing the vaccine. If this vaccine succeeds, then AstraZeneca has agreed to distribute the vaccine in a $1.2 billion deal with the US government. This translates into 400 million doses. Closer to home, the UK government has also signed a deal for 100 million doses, with 100 million potentially being ready by September. Clearly, this vaccine is going particularly well so far. Some, though, think that the process on this vaccine should be even quicker. The head of the Oxford vaccine program has said that in order to speed the trials up, young, healthy people who volunteer as part of the program should be deliberately infected with the virus to test how well the vaccine works. This comment comes alongside a letter penned by the US National Institutes for Health, which has been signed by over 100 scientists, including 15 Nobel laureates. Whether this idea will be accepted or not is as yet unknown. The second vaccine that's currently undergoing phase three clinical trials is produced by state-owned Chinese company Sinopharm. Their phase three will be conducted in the UAE because of a lack of cases in China. In phase one and two of the trial, 1,120 volunteers were vaccinated, all of whom produced high-tier antibodies. Again, this vaccine appears to be progressing well, which demonstrates that there is hope for a vaccine on the horizon. The third vaccine that's currently in stage three is being produced by the private Chinese company Sinovac Biotech, which found success in earlier stages. This vaccine differs from the other ones mentioned here as it uses a more old school technique in order to try and induce an immune response. Where the other vaccines attempt to use newer methods, such as using DNA or RNA from the coronavirus, this vaccine instead uses a deactivated full strand of the coronavirus, which is the same way that polio is eliminated. However, just because this method has worked before doesn't mean that it will necessarily work again. The coronavirus and polio are very different diseases, and even if it does work, because it's based on a deactivated version of the virus, it takes a lot longer to produce. That being said, the vaccine is currently being tested in phase three of clinical trials in Brazil. So those are the main three, but there's one more that we want to discuss, the BCG vaccine, which unlike the rest, wasn't created specifically to prevent infection from the coronavirus. This vaccine has existed for around 80 years and has previously been used to prevent tuberculosis. 
Testing on this is currently underway to discover whether the vaccine could protect against the coronavirus too. However, Dr. Asili, an endocrinologist at Columbia University, has claimed that there's not a huge amount of faith in this approach, and it seems to be a bit like magical thinking. Therefore, there may be more hope in these other vaccines working and putting an end to this pandemic. So, real progress is being made towards a vaccine, and it does seem that there is some genuine cause for hope. And these are just the vaccines at stage 3 at the moment. There are loads of others in earlier stages which show hope and could end up overtaking these early front runners. If you want to know more about this topic, as well as why people are hesitant about vaccines, and how people not taking the vaccine could impact everyone, then be sure to check out our video on the topic. It's linked in the description. But what do you think? Do you think that one of these vaccines has a better chance of succeeding than the others? And do you think that you'll take a vaccine when it's available? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name listed at the end of videos like these people, then be sure to sign up on Patreon. It's linked down below.